For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason. You know, I've been on the road a whole lot this winter doing winter meetings for farmers, and from time to time when I'm out, I run into some really interesting things. That was the case when I found a series of 4-H'ers in Knox County in mid-February studying something called hippology. It takes more than a little courage and a lot of dedication to be on the hippology team in Galesburg, Illinois. On this particular dark night, with the wind chills deep into the negative numbers, the team is broken into two tables, and each is tackling equine questions. Hey, Grant, what is the term for sterile male equine due to removal of the testicles? They're learning horse basics, and some not-so-basics, too. Everything from breeds and colors to disease, parasite, body parts, feed rations, and related industries, says 4-H volunteer, Rebecca Curry. They learn about care, they learn about parts, and especially if kids are planning to go into any of the like um, like feed or biology or sciences or even mathematics, a lot of the stuff they learn is a lot of the general stuff they'll even learn in a regular class in high school or junior high in biology. The pastor. <laughs> the fat lock. It's the fat lock. By the way, 4-H is the nation's largest positive youth development and youth mentoring organization, empowering some 6 million young people in the United States, in partnership, of course, with 110 universities like the University of Illinois. 4-H life-changing programs are research-backed and available through 4-H clubs, camps, after-school and school enrichment programs in every county and parish in the United States. For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason.